this segment of Keepers on Parade, we'll travel to a newer Wichita destination to hear a story of collaboration and unity. Let's see how the importance of keeping things local can really make a big impact. Collaborating with Angie and um, us at Shields was awesome. I know our very first meeting with her, she spent like a couple hours in our office just listening to us and listening to our plans and kind of our thoughts. For the Shields Keeper, the elements that were incorporated into the statue that represent the business are different wildlife throughout uh, the base of the statue. And that kind of goes hand in hand with what they call their taxidermy mountain. And that is seen in every store that they have across the country. Um, different things like the airplanes. Um, there's an original airplane that the founder of Shields flew um, that is represented on there. There are all sorts of different things that represent Wichita. They're very big into planting their roots where they are locally and so they wanted to make sure that it had a Wichita flair in addition to the Shields flair as well. Hosting the statue has strengthened the relationship between Shields and Wichita because it really shows Wichita what a community partner that we want to be with the city um, and it also shows the um, different aspects of Shields and how it incorporates into the city and I think it was a really fun project for our leadership team who has transferred in from all over the country to learn more about Wichita and to learn what the 316 is and to learn what ICT is and to learn more about our aviation history. So um, the Keeper is here with us and I think if anything it brought in the knowledge of Wichita to our leadership um, and also brought um, Wichita to us. Some of the actual physical challenges of painting a statue is they are a large three-dimensional fiberglass object and they are very slippery when you put paint onto it. So um, literally hours and hours of just waiting for paint to dry um, before you can put the next coat on. So it's, it's a process in itself, but at the end it's just awesome to see it all come together and see it in place and see people enjoying it. I think if you're considering sponsoring a keeper, you should definitely do it. Um, if you're hesitant to do it, just, just do it because the artists have been, um, I know with Angie specifically, she was more than um, gracious and patient with us through the whole entire design process. And um, it's just been a great process for us to learn more about um, Wichita as a company and then also just to know that uh, we have a piece of Wichita history um, right here in our store. We are so glad you could join us on this journey through Wichita today. And if you'd like to do some exploring of your own, just scan the QR code on your screen where you can find all the Keeper locations as well as apply to get one of your very own. And don't forget to join us next time as our journey through Wichita continues.